The Manly Sea Eagles held a memorial service today to pay tribute to Keith Tidmus, who tragically passed away on Monday following a training session at their Narrabeen base. Keith's mother, father, sister, brother and other family members and friends joined Sea Eagles coach Des Hasler, Captain Daly Cherry Evans and other players and staff who are all trying to come to grips with the 20 rolls sudden passing. Club owner Scott Penn, CEO Stephen Humphreys and Dragons winger and former juniors teammate Jason Saab were all among the mourners at today's service. It is a very sad time for all of us. It's a particularly sad time for Keith's family. Our thoughts and our prayers go out to his family and we will continue to extend our support to them. Keith was a promising young forward who was part of Manly's top 30 squad. Last year, he took out the club's Jersey Flag Players Player Award and back in 2017, he scored the match-winning try in the Sea Eagles Under-20s Grand Final. What a ball! Is through! Tidmus will score! He's got up to win the Grand Final! <laughs> Head coach Des Hasler said the club was devastated by the news and that Keith would never be forgotten by the Sea Eagles. A statement that has been echoed by an incredible gesture. Every player that plays first grade for Manly is given their own individual number to recognise their achievements. At today's memorial, the club announced Keith will forever be known as Sea Eagle number 623. He's one of us, he's part of our family, and I think it's a great gesture by the club. Many Manly officials believe Keith was destined to play in the NRL, an opportunity he was sadly denied of. Whilst he hadn't played a Manly match, he was a Manly player. He was a Manly Pathways player. He played with them. Uh, he's been playing and been part of their team for a number of years now. The NRL extends its condolences to Keith's family, friends and everyone in the wider rugby league community impacted by his tragic passing.